What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I am having a fantastic one. I am getting ready for the Commanders game. And uh, we're going to be there tailgating. I can't wait to see my Cowboys. I have wanted to, to go to more games this year, but the Red Brick House and trying to get that done has been paramount. And, you know, you have to set your priorities in life. But we will be there enjoying the Commanders versus the Cowboys. And um, it's probably going to be chilly, but I don't care. I'm going to dress warm. There's no snow. For anybody out there, some people are saying, Mark is lying to you because he just trying to sell tickets and this, that, and the other. And at the weather, there's a nor'easter. Well, here's, what, here's the real deal here. The weather on the game, they're calling for winter weather advisory. Yes, there is on the east coast well actually not really on the coast it's actually more of towards the mountains for saturday washington dc it's gonna be rain saturday rain maybe an inch of rain you have to go out west towards say front royal you know madison county and all that you got to go way out for where there's gonna be snow so uh strasburg um, I know you're coming to the game. You might get snow on Saturday, but it, it, I know you know how to drive in snow because it snows back there all the time. Um, but Jersey, ain't getting any snow up there. It's just going to get rain. In parts of Pennsylvania, there will be some snow, but it'll be kind of further away. So depending on where you're coming from, you'll be okay. <clears throat> but that's going to be Saturday into Saturday night. The game's not till 425. Now, if you are going to the tailgate, the red zone lot where we're tailgating in opens up five hours five hours before the game that's 11 30. we'll be there about 10 30. we'll be there about 10 30. last year i think we were fourth in line because we're going to that perfect spot so we can set up and we can get our cook on because we're going to be cooking like crazy i got eight eight pork shoulders right now i'm gonna get two 40 pound cases of chicken wings we're gonna get about 40 pounds of burgers for black and blue burgers we gonna do it up and we gonna end this regular season with a bang now i got some news here that's interesting here so lyle collins has been on the uh cincinnati Bengals dime rehabbing from his mcl acl surgery okay Lyle Collins is still relatively young, okay? He's working out today at left guard. At left guard. Now, this is one of the things that I have thought that the Cowboys have done that, have not, that, that haven't worked out the way you want it to. Sometimes the Cowboys will take a player and they are able to do this and they decide we want you to do that i will say rico um ah man rico 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 i can't remember his last name he was a tight end he was kind of skinny he was you know like six foot six and like about 245 and he could jump and he could catch the football but the cowboys said nah bro we don't need you to do that. See, I would have looked at it and said, this is a guy I could put to the corner of the end zone and say, stand there, and we're going to throw the football to you, and you're going to jump up and get it. Just jump, because he could jump like a gazelle. And I remember going to the Ram preseason game. It was at the L.A. Coliseum. And this is before they, they had the, the new stadium and stuff in L.A. And seeing him, I think, get three TD catches. But what they said was, you need to put on weight because you need to block. He put on weight, and he never got that good at blocking, and he looked kind of, <laughs> it looked painful watching him go down the field, and he could no longer jump. They screwed him up. They screwed him up. Lyle Collins, he came in and playing as a guard, he was very similar to Tyler Smith his rookie year. He was going down, and he was taking on, like, boom. He'd run over one guy on a sweep and then look for another one, boom, run him down. You know, he was literally running down the field 
with the running backs on big plays. And they decided, no, we want you to be a tackle. And I think they screwed him up by trying to make him a tackle. Now, here's what would be interesting is, depending on where he is as far as his rehab and what kind of shape he is, hypothetically, if he is still good or decent, you could put him at left guard, where I think is his natural position. And maybe you take Tyler Smith, although I, I, I hesitate to say this because Tyler Smith has been so good at guard that you almost want to say, nah, I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with that at all because I'm not putting Lyle Collins at right tackle. I mean, left tackle. No, not, no, 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 no. But you might be able to put Tyler Smith at tackle. And maybe you've got yourself in a good position for next year because what we're looking at, because here, here's where it could work out. Mm. You figure Tyron Smith is done. Although with the Cowboys, you know, Tyron Smith was still productive. It's just he ended up having games where he was injured. I don't know if you go ahead and say we're going to bring him back next year, you know, on an even team friendlier deal. I mean, that's a possibility. And you have Lyle Collins and Tyler Smith that you can use an interchange. That keeps you from necessarily not having to draft, you know, a left tackle. That opens up things because, you know, we're going to be drafting late in the draft. Hopefully we are the last pick in the draft. That gives you an opportunity to say, we're not drafting because we need a left tackle. We can draft across the offensive line. Maybe it's right tackle. Maybe it's, you know, not even offensive line at this point because you've got Lyle Collins, Tyler Smith, and, you know, or what have you. Maybe it's we're looking at another linebacker. Maybe it's we're looking at, you know, uh, another wide receiver. It, it could be almost anything. Maybe it's, no, no, I don't want to say running back because I'm not drafting a running back that high. But you get what I'm saying, that he might be able to fill a deal where you can put off having to go ahead and take that first-round pick and say, I have to get a left tackle. That That's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility. We'll see if that's how it works out uh, and so on. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. Um I'm going to go in here and start mixing up my spices, get my spices together and my brown sugar and make sure I got plenty of mustard so I can start getting the, uh, whew, all these butts rubbed. We love rubbing some butt. Yeah. I'm Mark Holmes and well, I hope to see a lot of you guys on Sunday. A lot of you. See you there at the tailgate.